Hi everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy, and today we're going to look at some whim toys. Now, what are whim toys? Have you guys ever been in a store or a small shop and you saw something and you go, oh, that's cool, and you just, and because it wasn't very expensive, you picked it up and brought it home? Well, that's what I call a whim toy. And these are those. These are uh, small scale tanks produced by Johnny Lightning and by Corgi. Corgi. Is it called? I guess my uh, British friends would know if it's, it's cor a Corgi, right? Queen Elizabeth loved those dogs. Anyway, let's not get distracted, Iggy. Okay. So we have a pair of Sherman M4s, a pair of Panzer IVs, and a Tiger and a Panther. Now, the scales are not the same. For instance, the Johnny Lightning vehicles, which you see on the top shelf. Let me move this so you can make it out. Those are smaller in scale than these. These are like 172 scale. And these are more like HO scale. And to give you an example of that, we'll move the Panther down. And next to the Sherman, it's very small. So let's move a tiger down so you can take a look. This is the tiger. And you can see it's it's similar, but the Sherman is still bigger than the tiger, which is not necessarily correct. By the way, in the background, I've showed you this painting before. It's of a tiger, uh, tiger one in a French village. Uh, just after the D-Day landings. You know, the Americans never really encountered uh, Tiger once during the Normandy campaign. It was the British who had to contend with those. Now these toys I picked up in the at Target at the in the aisle where they sold like Hot Wheels and things like that. Uh, the Johnny Lightning, of course, are is from a reconstituted Johnny Lightning because they initially were made by Topper Toys, and uh, Topper Toys was formed in 1951. However, uh, they went bankrupt in 1973. And it was in 1969 that Topper introduced um, the Johnny Lightning brand. And Johnny Lightning cars were considered the fastest, even faster than Hot Wheels. And uh, I doubt if these were made to be fast. However, the tracks don't move. And there's no wheels like these have. This one, it feels like the body of the tank is pla uh, metal. However, the turret and gun are plastic. And it feels same with these. These are uh, Corgi models. Corgi, on the other hand, was um, from the Mittoy Corporation, M-I-T-T-O-Y Corporation. And uh, Corgi introduced their vehicles in 1956. And they became quite famous with the introduction in 1965 of the Aston Martin DB5, uh, which, you, as you know, was really a uh, popular with the kids being James Bond's car. I think they sold o almost 4 million of that model. 
I don't know if you can even get these in the store anymore. I haven't seen military toys in the store since around 2007 was the last time I saw an Ultimate Soldier vehicle in a Walmart. So at least by 2007, the military toys were all gone. Unimax, Ultimate Soldier, and any company that was making... Uh, uh, blanking out. You know, it's funny. I'm forcing myself to make these videos. And I'm starting to get to the point where I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> but I, my original plan was to just make one video a week. But I realized I would never get through my collection if I did it that way. So I'm, ha I'm being forced to make as many as possible per week. Anyway, these are whim toys. You guys probably have some whim toys in your collection as well. Because I was hot and heavy into Unimax. Although I do find these uh, Corgi, Corgi, Corgi models to be pretty cool. I like these Sherman tanks. I, I wish I had thought to buy more of them. And this uh, long barreled Panzer IV. He's got the barrel backwards. Here we are. I think this is a pretty cool vehicle, too. Uh, I don't care for these Johnny Lightning vehicles, though. Uh, for instance, this one uh, doesn't even have a muzzle brake on the main gun, and it's got what looks like an American 30 caliber machine gun on the turret. <laughs> so these, uh, they're not the best, but... Iggy bought them anyway, because like I said, they're whim toys. However, now that I look at these, and uh, again, with a critical eye, I think I would have liked to have more. At least two more of these, and two more of these. I think that would have been really cool. Um, my brother sent these to me for Christmas. I, I purchased them before I moved from California, and my brother was really broke at the time, and I was really broke too. Uh, so what my brother would do is he would take things he found in storage and send it to me for Christmas. And since I hadn't seen him in a long time, it was almost a surprise. And one time he sent me these vehicles in this box, and he printed out this an uh, illustration from uh, from online. It's actually a copy of an original because it's you can see here. This is when there was a guy who bought the rights to the Mark's name and was releasing army sets in these vintage styled boxes. However, the toys uh, they were like MPC and Timmy toys. So they weren't original Mark's toys. So I, I think I even threw them out. I didn't like them. Because I did buy one of these Battleground sets, and I was all excited to get it. And uh, none of the figures were Mark's. And uh, the tanks and things were not Mark's either. But anyway, my brother put, because he knows that I like this style of uh, lithograph art. And uh, he put, he made a reduced size copy and uh, placed it on this box. And oddly enough, or surprisingly enough, these six vehicles fit inside this hand-sized box. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. I didn't want to get into too many details because uh, I need to eat something. So I didn't do a lot of prep work on this. I noticed that since they cut my hours at work, I haven't been doing too well. In fact, I've been going to bed at 2 and 3 in the morning and getting up at noon. So my day, in fact, what time is it now? It's almost four o'clock here in Jacksonville in the afternoon, and I this is the first thing I've done today. 
So I'm wasting a lot of time and I also don't feel so hot. So hopefully I can get my schedule reactivated with more hours soon. That's all I got for you this time, guys. Sorry for the sort of low-key presentation and the uh, lack of detailed prep work for you. I only did a little bit of reading and not what I usually do. So I probably shouldn't make these when I'm in this mood, should I? <laughs> you guys don't want to see that. You're like, oh, Iggy, not again. Uh Drink a cup of coffee or something. I don't drink coffee, but uh, I do like to get a strawberry frappe at Starbucks because it's kind of similar to a milkshake. My friend said that instead of Starbucks, they should call it Six Bucks. <laughs> it can get pretty pricey if you're going there every day. I don't do that, but uh, I do like those strawberry frappes. All right, guys. I, that's all I got for you, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, um, show you next because I have to go over to storage and uh, get some more things to dig through and present to you. So until I can go back to storage and start mining again, um, this might be it for a couple days. So thank you for to those of you who have recently joined the Iggy Army. Although I do have something weird going on. I get new subscriptions, and then like two days later, uh, they're gone. So, for instance, I got uh, I had 488 subscriptions, and then I had 490, and then I had 491, 492, and then a couple days later, I was back down to 489. So I, I think what's happening is people look at one video, they, oh, that's a little interesting. But then when they start looking at my other videos, they go, this guy sucks. He's unprofessional. He stammers. He's unprepared. And they drop me. I've never done that. Usually uh, I try and help people out by subscribing. Um, I'm, I may not look at their videos again. Uh, but I don't drop the subscription, but I get that a lot. So I must really offend people. I, I'm sure I do because uh, I've offended quite a number of people in my lifetime. <laughs> I used to go to restaurants with my wife and talk really loudly about my ridiculous opinions. And I've, I'm sure I've I ruined a lot of people's dinners. And uh, I'm actually regretful and sorry for that and uh if i have said something on this channel to offend you i'm uh, my intention is not to offend people but you know you you feel the way you feel so that's the other side of the coin okay guys uh let me say goodbye and that will be it okay so good 